anyone know why we're here? Nope, no freaking clue. You guys invited me here, so I don't know. Oh. Hey guys, long time no see, huh? Last time we saw you, you caused us to have a massive crash in the yard. My yard, might I add? You, you guys are still banned. Uh -huh. Yeah, but generally though, I have a question. Alright, ask away! It's just, uh, how did you lot all meet? Like, how? Oh, now that's a story for the ages. Alright, Zach, listen closely. I'm gonna tell you and Barry the story you're never gonna forget. It all started back in the olden days. And with they? Back, like, two years ago when we were 14. It all started that. You see, we met in the place that everyone hates. School. Because who likes that? Now, school for engines is very different. Here we learn how to shunt, call coaches, etc, etc. So, when it came to shunting, we had to pick partners. Ow, 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 ow. Nope. That is where me and Mr. Oliver... And then Inky and Mr. Ryan, they all became friends. Stanley was also there, but he got the grips of things way before we did. Right, well done, Stanley. You actually got what was meant to be done properly. Well done. It's not my fault the, the thing tipped over. Yeah, it's not my fault the, 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 the flat bit turned over. It, it actually was entirely your fault. You sucked it. Oh. I had nothing to do with any of this. Just face the fact that I'm naturally better than all of you. Or I hate you! Now that was the start of a very beautiful friendship between the five of us. Until there were two new students. Now they were the classic stereotypical bullies. Alrighty, you guys suck. Yeah. No, we're not Americans. So we're not gonna ask for your lunch money, so uh take this. Ow! Oh. Yeah, take this. Ow! Ah. Detention. Damn it. And every day we'd see our teacher arguing to whoever the big diesel of the floor was. Every single day. There was also this guy that would hang around behind some, um... I don't even know what to call it, but he'd hide behind the buildings. Yeah, that was it. With some weird stuff. Oi, you. Yes? I've got some really good stuff here. Like this mushroom. What kind of mushroom? Why don't you have a try? Alright, I will! Oh, oh, oh my goodness, I am going insane! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Um... You want to think of that? I think that's when, um... Uh, I think that's when Ryan's voice became permanently high pitch, and he didn't go through the rest of puberty. Anyways, there was also this one lovely female engineer called Daisy, who did absolutely nothing. Ew! What is that? Now, Daisy, shunt the coach, otherwise I'm gonna fail you. Ew! Ew, no! Ew, bad boy, swear! Ew, that's disgusting! Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, coaches are disgusting. Ow, Jesus Christ! And there was our absolute dad chef, Toby. Well, howdy, students. How are you all today? What's the food? We have eggs. We can't digest eggs. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. Well, don't worry. We have plenty of coal. I can't digest coal. Really? Now I can give it a go. Great. Um. Great. Uh, you get coal. You get coal. Just, I'll, I'll bring it to you guys all later. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, I can't digest coal. Well, I didn't think that far ahead because you're a diesel, damn it. What does that mean? You're going hungry. Oh. And we've all been friends ever since. The end. Wow, what a boring story. Actually, now that's actually a pretty dope story. Alright, what the heck are you guys all doing? Frick, any of you, Terry. Why do I even care, actually? Oh, hey, guys. You speak to them and then you say hello. How, how nice, Dan. Alright, shut up, Ruby. Boom, I'm here. Alright, I only really want to speak to Ons, but apparently, like, all of you were here, but uh, okay. It does actually beg my question. How, how, how did, um, you free meet? Well, when it comes to me, oh, I got a great start on this side, Toad. Alright. 
Right, everyone, this is how I met on for the very first time. It all started back when and I was a little boy. Oh, boy, can't oh, wait to go on adventure. Oh, look, a boat. Next stop, Sodor. Whee! That was when Aunt had only just started to live on Sodor. I must say, Aunt, you're getting along real fine with this work. Yeah, alright. Just now he's gonna wait for vulture shipment. How long is it gonna take, Cranky? Oh yeah, by the way, Cranky used to work at um at the Frick Office branch line was. Yeah, I just uh, uh he's coming. Okay. Ahoy followers. Special shipment from Canada. That's not the shipment, is it? No, I don't know who that is. Well, that was fun. But what adventure? What the heck are you? Where am I? Um, you're on Sodor. Rats, that's a very long way away from Canada. Um. Okay. I already came back. Um, does he want to go back? Do you want to go back to Canada? No, I have no parents anymore. They were two purple coaches, but they ditched me. I suddenly feel extreme sympathy for this guy. Yeah. This is awkward. Why don't you just go live with one of you? Um. I mean, if he was. Yay! Two individuals! Whoa! Hold up! And that is how I met on. And when did Perry come into the equation? Oh! Alright, move aside. Yeah, move! Alright, I can explain perfectly how we all met Perry. Alright, so basically, it all started... So it all started when Perry had just been born. And I was extremely jealous of all the attention he was getting. How come he gets all the attention, not me? Because you weren't just born. Urgh. So one night when he was sleeping, I took him, and I took him all the way to Kenton Harbor. Really? Hey, you got a package you want to smuggle across somewhere? Yeah. This child. Oh yeah, so you can see that. All right. Where's he to? Um, what's a really, what's a place at random? Send me to Sodor. Alright. Soda. Alright. Jesus Christ, he's heavy. Who was he anyway? My sister's John. Wait, what? And then when I got home and Perry was nowhere to be seen, it didn't take long for them to figure out what happened. When Perry finally didn't make it to Soda, he was homeless. He found himself a hideout. And he hid there for many years. You see, Perry then grew up alone and terrified in hiding. And was absolutely terrified any time he heard an engine come past. Especially the big ones. Because he thought they were going to take him away and do something horrible. That really did something to his mind. As he became terrified of practically everything. Yeah, until one day... Ah, oh, this is like the perfect place to cut down a tree for Christmas. Come on! Alright, alright, I'm coming. Come on, come on, knock it down, knock it down. Alright. Alright, I'll knock it down. Ah! Please don't hurt me! Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, I'm not, I'm not gonna- Oh my god, Aunt, you could've taken his face off. Please, please don't, please don't take my face off. Oh, oh god, Zach, you are not helping. No, no, it's alright, it's alright. I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah, he's a completely fine. Who are you, anyway? Um. They will call me Perry. Well then, Prince Perry! Welcome! I am Zach, or Zach, as people call me. No one ever calls you that, Zach. I can dream on! Yes, and I'm Andrew, but everyone calls me on. Uh, okay. Thankfully, 
We were able to convince Perry we were safe, and he came to live with us. Then when Zack started hanging out with all of you, I asked him to take Perry with him. And he did. And that was the day right in front of Box and we all went time traveling. Oh yeah, and that was the day you all met me, lucky you lot. Wait, but if you time traveled, wouldn't you technically have met him like... Not that day, but like years, years, years before then? Mate. Unlike the rest of you, I've traveled through time and gone to another dimension, okay? I am... Um, I am way too uh, minded for all this. I'm not- I, I cannot process all of this. Wait, so how did Dad end up hanging out with all of you? Oh great, even more questions needing answering. Oh, well I can explain that one really easily. Hey, 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 did you just fight that really big massive battle guy? That is so cool, we are best friends now. Well, hey, stop! Zach? Yeah? You need to act it out. Alright, fine. Alright, so last question. So when did Ruby and Dan come into all of this? Well, when we could finally afford it, me and Dan went to Sodor to go look for Perry. But I don't want to go. You're coming. Oh. And then we reun I reunited with Perry. Dan got an absolute ass whipping for being such a horrible person. Wait, no! And then on that day, you roped us all into a civil war. And since that day, all ten, there's twelve of us. There is... Exactly, the green chaos everyone counts as a person too, so there is twelve of us. You guys are so stupid. The point is, since that day, all of us have been great friends, and always will be. Well, until some conflict here happens. Yeah, let's just hope that doesn't happen. Well, you'll never know until it happens. Let's just pray it doesn't happen. Ingy, you're making it sound so much worse. God damn it, Toad. No, so I do get the fact that we kind of on a couple things from, like, season one, but most of season one isn't even canon anyway, so, like, cry about it or something, I don't know, just ignore the retconning, okay? You happy? Good? Alright, bye.